Hey everybody, I'm Alejandro Perez, the CGI Nerd, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Houdini's Python interface and run our very first code. So, inside of Houdini, we have the Python shell, and here we can do single line code in a kind of shell format. So, let's write our first code here. Do print hello world. And then it outputs the words, hello world. That is pretty awesome. So another place where we can code that we can do kind of longer format code. And this is going to be the Python source editor. And inside of the Python source editor, when we open up the particular Python file we're working with, it will actually execute that code when you start up the program. So it's kind of nice to be able to do a lot of code here, but it's also something to be careful with because you want to set it up where it doesn't necessarily run your code because if it does, it could cause some issues here. But let's try the print hello world print. Print hello world. So we have that. We can click apply. And you can see that it prints it over here and we can just keep on pushing apply and it will run it over and over again. So this is a, another place where we can write code. Then we have our shelf. So I'm going to actually, I have the, actually I'll do it over here. New shelf. Let's call this shelf CGI nerd and the label CGI nerd. Okay. Let's apply that, accept, and we have this new shelf tab here. If we go ahead and create a new tool here, we can set up a name. We'll skip that for right now. Actually, we'll set up the name. Hello world, hello world. And then the plasma icon right now is just the default Houdini icon that we have. You can go through here and find another image for your icon if you wanted to here is our script editor. So we could do print hello world here and then apply. And you can see that it doesn't actually run it here. We could try to accept and it doesn't run it here. But when it does run is if we actually click on the shelf button. So this is a great way to automate a lot of the tools that we're going to be working with. So we have that. And then if you look at other shelf tools that already exist, we can right click and go to edit tool and you can see the actual code that they're using to execute that command, which could be kind of useful to see. So edit tool, and you can see it has some code here that you can look at. Let's go back over here. And then inside of your node editor here, we can create like a geometry node. And here in the geometry node, we can see that it's by default set to H script, but we can switch this and set it up to Python. And then now you're actually writing Python code when you do any commands here. So we can take something like um, right click here, copy parameter, then paste relative reference. And that's kind of the Python version of setting up a expression that is super quick inside of your node there. I don't need that, so I'm going to undo it. Then inside of our node itself, let's jump in here, and then we can actually create a Python node itself, and you can write code in here. So here we're going to be working on affecting the geometry that's coming into the input. But if we do print, if we do print hello world, then we um, can see that you have that code there. Right now we can see kind of the number of times it went. If we put a some sort of geometry coming in. We're not really going to see kind of any, there we go. 
it executed it once. So when we go here, and we should just show this shifting up once when we activate it, but actually this time it didn't, but because it already did it to it. So there we go. When we reconnect it, we can see that that Python code is executed once and it adds that to the hello world. So that is kind of the areas where we can get the Python code to go inside of Houdini in the different locations and a little bit to kind of look at some examples. We'll go kind of deeper into that when we're looking at the who module, which is where all of the Houdini is stored in. But I wanted to be able to kind of give you guys a quick intro of the interface and where we can type code depending on what we're doing at the time. For a lot of the tools and things that I build, I end up kind of building a shelf tool, but sometimes it's kind of useful to do a geometry node. If I am working at a place, which kind of happens a lot, for example, at RIT where I teach, they have nightly or a couple times a night where they clear out the the desktops and re kind of image all of the computers overnight so a lot of times what i'll do is i'll create kind of a shelf tool but inside of a file i'll create a python node and store my code not connected to anything just so that i have somewhere to save it you could always just save a python file that you can access and use in here later but that's kind of another way that you can use to store it if you're in, in an environment that re-images your computers every so often. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you found it useful, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!